This 30-minute Digital Canada television show pilot is focused on digital education, e-commerce, and entertainment. This direct response TV series is designed to sell technology, products, and services of the Specific Purpose Network, affiliates, associated strategic, and business partners. Our goal is to guide Canadians on a fast track to their digital futures. No experience, no problem. High tech, low tech, no tech. There's a future for you. Yes, you. Yes, even you, Frank. Opening. Digital Canada presents Nowonomics, a new media guide to a digital future. The fourth industrial revolution and the first digital Canadian evolution. All welcome. If you've ever been frustrated or confused with technology, ever wondered what a cloud is, or what it does, or how robots are taking over the world, you might want to stay tuned, because in the next few minutes, we're going to span the globe, focusing on what Canada, digital Canada, can accomplish with specific purpose, digital direction, and magical solutions. The fourth industrial revolution, it's a fusion of the physical, the digital, and the biological world. It's changing not only what we are doing, it's changing who we are. It's really the notion of digital technology pervasively impacting every walk of life and every vertical industry on all parts of the globe. Whether it's information technology and the acceleration we see in artificial intelligence, a lot is happening. Society and how we're going to live is being defined right now. The speed is mind-boggling. What I particularly concerned about is how little the world is prepared. Harnessing this revolution requires the involvement of all stakeholders, from public and private sectors to academia and civil society. The World Economic Forum Center for the Fourth Industrial Revolution Network ensures that the development and application of emerging technologies benefits both people and the planet. It is a network of centers for scalable impact, with locations in the United States, Japan, India and China, bringing together stakeholders to identify the impacts of these technologies, co-design innovative governance protocols and policy frameworks, and pilot them with partners around the world. If we are not innovative, if we're not creative enough, it will be very difficult to survive in this century. Humans and machines are assisting each other, augmenting each other with skills. Humanity itself will be changed with this super intelligence, and we are at the doorstep of that era. 
the technologies available today will impact and change healthcare forever. 52% of the encounters with our primary care physicians were handled virtually. Just a massive change. The network will work closely to share research, analysis and learning and help design new technologies in ways that respect societal values. It's where innovation is happening, about how we guide this revolution. We can solve the many the social issues through the digital technologies. My hope is that we have a robust discussion for how this can truly help our world solve some of the hard-pressed challenges that we have today. Together, we can shape a future that truly benefits and empowers people. The world has changed. We can never, ever go back to yesterday. Launching January 1st, 2020, the ambitious Digital Canada Television Project. 50 digital television networks, 20,000 digital television channels, and 400 specific purpose programs. Relevant data in today's marketplace. Here's how it works. Pick one of the networks. Pick one of the channels. Pick one of the 400 specific purpose programs. Three clicks. It's just that simple. Log on now. Robots standing by. And allow us to move towards this exciting vision of a machine on every desktop. Our mission is to empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more. For us, these are absolutely more than just a set of words. Uh, there are many key elements to it. The first piece to me is the focus on both people and institutions that people build. We had absolutely no idea what people were going to do with these things when we started out. Uh, matter of fact, the two people it was designed for was Waz and myself, <laughs> because we couldn't afford to buy a, a computer kit on the market. So we liberated some parts from Hewlett Packard and Atari and uh, worked on a design for about six months and decided that we would uh, build our own computer. So we built one. And uh, once it was up till four in the morning for many moons, and we got it working. We showed some of our friends. Immediately, everybody wanted one. On our collective mission to change the world. At Google, our mission is to make the world's information accessible and useful. I mean, there are many, many opportunities to, to broadly use technology to, to impact the world and to have a successful business. And we try to invest in, in at least in the places where we see a good fit to our company. Going back 23 years, it'll be 23 years of 4th of May since I took charge of this business. At that time, we had 235 employees in all departments of the business throughout the world. And today, we have more than 10,000 people. Now, I mention that because that gives you a little idea of what opportunities men have had in this business. Men who are willing to, to study, to acquire the necessary education. Tom Watson, Jr., talking to his sales school the following year, made some predictions. If the last 25 years may serve as a criterion, then the IBM is predestined to expand in the next 25 years until it surpasses the fondest dreams of us all. The pertinent fact here is that the next 25 years will be for all of us the most productive years of our lives. And what we do will be shaped by what we cause to happen during that time. And that is why I say that ours is a wonderful future, and I urge that all of us do our best. These predictions prove to be more than justified by later growth. It is about a conviction, and I think it's what we all share. It is a conviction that as we look around, we see that the cloud is changing not just IT, but pause. It is changing business and society. We've been talking about it for a long time, and it's happening. We're moving into a world of unbelievable 
massive expansiveness. Distributed connectivity across hundreds of billions of dev devices. And through artificial intelligence, through machine learning at scale, we have the ability to extract greater insights from all these connections than we ever have in the past. Launching January 1st, 2020, the ambitious Digital Canada Television Project. 50 digital television networks, 20,000 digital television channels, and 400 specific purpose programs. Relevant data in today's marketplace. Here's how it works. Pick one of the networks. Pick one of the channels. Pick one of the 400 specific purpose programs. Three clicks. It's just that simple. Log on now. Robots standing by. Digital literacy among retailers and among storefront businesses is just a, a, a really important but underserved part of what we do as a BIA, helping them become more connected, helping them become more open to the world. It's always something that we've wanted to do, but now finally we have the resources to help us actually accomplish those goals and help us to reach out. The Digital Main Street Digital Transformation Program has been a really huge asset to our BIA, not only in the funding that is provided to businesses, but to the actual education that's provided them. And you're seeing the whole community lift up its entire digital footprint. In terms of promoting it, we've started off slow uh, with um, uh, emails out to the members, uh, sort of encouraging them to sign up for the onboarding process and to go through the, uh, the applications. I actively promote the Digital Main Street Every time I speak with any of our businesses, I send out emails to them. I have it on our website, but I'm really trying to do the one-on-one -on -one speaking with them to get them involved and take advantage of all the opportunities. We printed out uh, just simple eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper with information in very plain language about um, the Digital Main Street uh, initiatives, the squad, as well as the grant. And I went to every business with that sheet of paper and gave it to the, the manager or the owner. This is a great program. It's totally free and it's going to help your business. We have sort of an ambitious goal of serving 70 of our 542 members. Whether it's going to be more than that, less than that, will really depend on how quickly we can, we can work with them and how we can sort of uh, deliver the fastest wins possible with the time that we have. We are going to be hiring two digital squad um, service members so that we have a team that they can work together to bounce off ideas, 
to keep each other on track, and to cover more businesses. Dozens of our members have applied for this grant, and what's really excellent is once a couple have applied, they tell their friends to apply. Um, because the business community is very tightly knit, one person will get the funding and they'll say, oh my gosh, I got this funding. I've spent this to upgrade my POS system. And then the business across the street will say, how do I uh, get that? I'm just hoping that we're getting more people to town and that the businesses um, are successful and increase their sales and just so that our community is, you know, more vibrant. We're really thankful that it's here to give us a chance to do something new and to offer our members another service that will help expose them to the world and bring more customers to our neighborhood. Launching January 1st, 2020, the ambitious Digital Canada Television Project. 50 digital television networks, 20,000 digital television channels, and 400 specific purpose programs. Relevant data in today's marketplace. Here's how it works. Pick one of the networks. Pick one of the channels. Pick one of the 400 specific purpose programs. Three clicks. It's just that simple. Log on now. Robots standing by. AI is changing the way the world works, making business faster, smarter, and more secure. At IBM, we're helping companies put AI to work at scale, giving them an unparalleled business advantage. With Watson, businesses are personalizing customer experiences, streamlining processes, minimizing risk, and sparking innovation. With Watson, engineers are keeping millions of elevators moving, predicting when they will break down and proactively fixing them. With Watson, Banks are deploying virtual agents trained on thousands of customer inquiries, helping them provide expert service to millions of customers 60% faster. With Watson, a range of industries from healthcare to automotive to telecom to education are working faster in transforming workflows. Businesses everywhere are building their future with Watson. Red Hat's Open Banking Sandbox is feature-rich and flexible. It accelerates open banking initiatives with essential tools for creating and managing APIs that foster innovation, create new revenue streams, and bring extended value to your partners and customers. The Sandbox is based on the key principles of agile integration, granular, distributed, and containerized technologies, which helps you be more adaptable. You can deploy an instance of the Sandbox and apply your brand and connect to your data without the burden of managing the infrastructure. 
you'll also find interactive API documentation. this idea that in the future you can get help wherever you are for whatever you need it's almost like it's in the air hey, hey what's up man? how's it going have you seen any of this stuff never been here Great. come on in thank you i'm not necessarily designing this for myself i'm designing for, for people out there that really could use an assistant in their home there's a lot of sensors and processors and machine learning things that are uniquely google when you combine the ultimate piece of technology and something so human, that's where magic happens. This vision to me is really compelling because we can create a new generation of products that are truly helpful. It helps you from the background right. rather than the foreground. And your foreground is your life. Big picture, what's the end game? It's about making it easier every day. Making what easier? Life. Making life easier. Yes. <laughs> Take a look. Here we go. Launching January 1st, 2020, the ambitious Digital Canada Television Project. 50 digital television networks, 20,000 digital television channels, and 400 specific purpose programs. Relevant data in today's marketplace. Here's how it works. Pick one of the networks. Pick one of the channels. Pick one of the 400 specific purpose programs. Three clicks. It's just that simple. Log on now. Robots standing by. every single second somewhere on earth is treated with one of our products. So that's 28 million patients a year could be treated because of the work that we do here. That was the big reason I came to Philips. Image guided therapy is modern day surgery without the incision. We're navigating tiny instruments through the body through incisions no larger than a pencil point. We're relying solely on x-ray images or medical imagery to guide us. So that means we are always looking at a screen of data. With HoloLens, we can take it to the next level. We are a leader in image-guided therapy. And with Azurian, we created an industry-leading platform that customers really love. What's really cool about it is we've leveraged novel touchscreen technology to create a very powerful working spot for the physician. Our ultimate goal is to help doctors do procedures better, to help them innovate the procedure. With HoloLens, we can create a completely different experience, a working domain which is really tailored around the needs of the physician. For complex procedures, physicians need to go from one screen to the other really rapidly. We can now get these screens to come in just by voice recognition, by eye tracking. This is all about efficiency. 
if patients are being treated and the procedure can be shortened, that's very beneficial for the patient. At Philips, we strongly believe that technology is not the goal. Technology should be the enabler. What we want is that the physician can just concentrate on the procedure and the patient. Get them home faster and healthier. This partnership between Philips and Microsoft can have our users experience something completely new, something almost mind-blowing, something that they didn't think was possible, and help them improve care. That's a breakthrough. That's a complete game changer. Now we come to a motto that some of you perhaps are tired of saying. Greatly used though it may be, we always bring it to the front. Because very few men and women anywhere do enough thinking. We must do more of it here this week. We must think a lot about what not to do for one thing. We must also think more about others, our customers, especially the people we are serving. We must learn to think more big thoughts and more good thoughts. That is important because a good thought never brought a bad result. Think of the new year as one that offers unprecedented opportunities to salesmen in every division. Think of the engineering ingenuity that IBM has put into the production of every item in its various lines to serve businesses. Think then of what intelligent planning and untiring effort can do to increase your personal income and enhance your prestige. Think with the utmost confidence of the products you have to offer business. Think of the many enterprises right in your own territory that have never had an opportunity to get the full import of the IBM story. Let me leave you with this one thought. Think. Launching January 1st, 2020, the ambitious Digital Canada Television Project. 50 digital television networks. 20,000 digital television channels, and 400 specific purpose programs. Relevant data in today's marketplace. Here's how it works. Pick one of the networks. Pick one of the channels. Pick one of the 400 specific purpose programs. Three clicks. It's just that simple. Log on now. Robots standing by.